if you take any problem in mathematics or applied mathematics and you work, you understand it and work on it and, 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 and eventually make some progress and come up with something interesting. Turbulence is the exception. Is turbulence solvable? Well, I'm sure it is, but the, the question is how? And what's missing is some fundamental new idea. So at this point, uh, people try, try eating at the edges of the problem, but it's not making enough progress. Chaos was a new idea. Uh, chaos explained how come you can have a random phenomenon in deterministic equations, and therefore it, it provided an insight. But it has not helped solve the problem because the, what you can describe well by, by chaotic dynamics and turbulence is still laminar. Turbulence is much more complicated. So, but that was a new, new idea. You, one needs some, some other new idea which will actually allow you to go into the turbulent regime, and it's not there yet. Do you think that new idea will come from mathematics or statistics or what has to come into play? Well, the problem of turbulence is a mathematics problem. The equations have been known for a century and a half. No one has any doubt about their validity, so the problem is solving them. It also is a surprise to people to discover that data isn't always true. Yes. There's errors, there's misunderstandings, there's inaccurate experiments, there's poor measurements, there's all sorts yes. of things. Well, in fact, this, this work I've, I've been doing of late about the data simulation is a way to try to clean data, uh, make, get data which are unreliable and models which are unreliable and try to conclude from them something which may not be completely false. Just about all the software that's being used uh, for, to make any kind of prediction depends on some uh, mathematical assumption. Even trying to draw conclusions from data is, at this point, a mathematical question which has not been properly addressed and has not been solved.